bringing you another thrifting video. Highly requested. I'm kidding, no, nobody requested this. I really missed filming and editing these kinds of videos and honestly, there's still so much about fashion and sustainable shopping that I really wanna share with you all. Not supporting fast fashion, not trying to push all of these trends on you, but instead doing the opposite. This video is especially very, very exciting to film because you will get to actually buy all of the items that I show you. Yes, you heard right, and I actually thrifted clothes in all sizes, so this is for everyone. I'm so excited to say that I have partnered with a new up-and-coming app called Galaxy. It's a live stream app that is making it more accessible for you to buy secondhand and vintage clothing from the comfort of your own home. In this video, I'll be taking you with me thrifting to thr- to thr- just for... <laughs> to three different thrift stores here in New York City. And then I'll show you all of the cool finds that I got and give you some ideas on how to style them. Okay, listen up, this is important, this is important. In two weeks, on September 11th at 6 p.m. EST, I will be going live on the Galaxy app to chat with you all, and that's when you all will have the chance to buy any of the items that you like from this video. And it's actually made super easy just through reserving them on the chat. The live is a perfect chance for you all to get to ask me questions, and I'll be sharing backstories, my process when putting together an outfit, and other things that I find interesting about all of my favorite items. And okay, I know we all have so much going on in our lives right now, at least I do. Galaxy is actually making it very easy for all of us. You can enter your number in the link below so that I can send you a text message reminder the day of my live, just in case you forget. Okay, let's go back to a week ago. You might notice my hair is different, I just dyed it last night. Let's go back to a week ago and go thrifting around the city. I think it's a must. Okay. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. It's like you know, a when you're, when you're when <laughs> you're when you're out picking um, apples and cherries and strawberries. Just yeah. Just you have a place bed. to put them. It feels really good, right? good. I mean, it feels. I kind of love that. For real? I think that's a strong consideration. Serving under the sea. Asia just found this beautiful shirt, but um, she's deciding to wear it as a scarf. Hey, it's voiceover me here. After having so much luck at Goodwill, I went over to a woke vintage in Brooklyn. It's very much what we would all call aesthetic, but everything was very expensive. This is a curated thrift store, and I know the work that goes into that, so it's understandable. The scarves and accessories I could see myself buying. Maybe. I found some shirts with potential in the sale rack outside, but they didn't end up convincing me since there was no designer brand to justify the price. I also loved this see-through lace dress for a little scandy moment, but it was stained. Then I visited Tired Thrift, super famous on TikTok. Loved the vibe of the store, a little overpriced, but found two things in the sale bin. Definitely need to go back to give you a better review. Beacon's Closet in Brooklyn is a classic. They're known for really good quality clothes because they're very picky when curating what clothes they accept to resell. This location in Brooklyn was really big and they had a limited capacity to be COVID friendly. Prices range from $12 to $40. I usually leave with one good find. 
I don't know, all I remember from this footage was that one baby that was just non-stop crying in the store. But I cut that out for you. Hello, welcome back. I know we just went on a journey, but we're back for a little thrift haul. I would say the overall vibe of everything that I got, very in between summer and fall. Things that you can get away with wearing on a nice summer day, but also at the beginning of fall. Okay, first up. We have this orangey yellow and purple printed skirt with pleats at the bottom. Do we see them? So I got this at Goodwill and I was really, really drawn to this print and the pleats at the bottom. And then to seal the deal, I just love this front button detail. Look at that cute little button and it's stretchy. You can take this to lunch and like not feel insecure. I think this would look really cute with a small black shirt and some platform black shoes or even some tall like chunky black boots this skirt is going to be up on galaxy for $12 low key this could be worn as like some kind of dress too I don't know I haven't tried it but obsessed with this if you don't buy this I'm just gonna keep it by the way I forgot to mention if you buy any of this stuff I better see super hot pics of you wearing them like you better DM me photos of you wearing these because I will be living through you I honestly just want to keep all of these items now Next, we have one of my favorites, this yellow, I think it's fake leather skirt. The fit on this is so flattering, so flattering. I think this would be considered a size small. I think I'm in between a size small and a medium and this fit me just right. This skirt actually has a brand, it's new look and it says size petite. It's a USA 4. There you go. This skirt will be going up for $16. And there's so many ways to style this. Like with an oversized shirt, like the way I did here. Or even with a tight tube top. I'm obsessed. Once again, if you don't buy it, I will be keeping it. Next is another one of my favorites. It's this very romantic, silky lace top. <gasps> I'm obsessed with this one. This one is more of a medium, I would say, but I like the oversized fit that it has on me. So I say it could go for a small or a medium. Like, look at that little flower. If you wear this with your hair up, it's so cute. It also has this adjusting strap in the back to accommodate for what kind of look you're going for if you want like a cinched waist. And I usually go for more of a crop top, but I really like that this is a little bit more oversized and longer on me because it gives for a more romantic -y look with like a long midi skirt. So I love this lace added at the bottom as well. Another way that you could style this is with some big flare jeans and some big boots. I feel like that would also be a look. This will be going up for the very cheap price of $12. I might just make a fake account and like rebuy it for myself. Yes, one of my faves. Okay, next. We have a very similar silky blouse in this really nice teal color. I love the boob area lace. I think it's so cute. I think it would look very flattering on. Since this isn't my size, I didn't try it on. But even though this is a size extra large, I think this could go for between like a medium oversized fit to an extra large. This would look really cute with like some light jeans. And I think it's so easy to make this either daytime or nighttime. The back is pretty much plain but I think the fabric speaks for itself. It's so soft. I also really like this pleated detail on the sides. I don't know if you can see it. It has it on each side. I think that just makes for a way more flattering fit. This find is from Goodwill and it will be going up for $12. Okay, sorry, lighting change. Take a little break. But the next piece is this real leather skirt real leather people when asia and i saw this at goodwill we felt the material we were shook the cut is actually very unique there's like a line that runs from the back to the front and only one side has this certain cut on the side this unfortunately doesn't fit me if not i would not have included this in the video and i would have just kept it i think this is a size like extra petite it's really really small the tag says it was made in italy this will be going up for 20 dollars that's a steal this was probably originally more than 100 dollars the first time I tried to fit this, I tried to put it on as a dress and it looked kind of cute, but it was still like really squeezing me. I don't know if you've been seeing those TikToks, like 
styling my clothes wrong. So yes, this is one of my favorite items. It's one of the most good quality items in this haul. Next, I have another really good quality item. This is a jumpsuit from Banana Republic and it has the original tag. It's a size 12 and it was originally $118. And I will be selling this for 24, so that's a steal. I really love this wavy detail on the sleeves and on the shorts of the jumpsuit. For ultimate comfortability, there's some side pockets as well as some back pockets. So, very useful. I think this is really cute for like a summer interview. Gotta go and get that job. If you pair this with like some really bright heels, super 2000s, but with like some bright hot pink or like yellow heels next i have another favorite i feel like i'm just saying that all of them are my favorites but it's because it's true i have this super unique fringy vest situation um i found this at beacon's closet and what drew me to it at first was this sequence but usually sequence pieces are like grandma kinds of shirts or dresses this one is really giving me like festival vibes hey it could even it could even it could be worn backwards. Oh, for like a boob, like choker moment. Um, I've never seen a piece like this with like this kind of back. There's so many different ways to style this. I think ideally it would be more of a statement piece if whatever you're wearing under is more simple, like neutral colors like white or like a skin color something. The print is pretty much navy and it has these little maroon accent beads. And this will be going up for $20. Then I have this other piece that my roommate Asia also helped me find at Goodwill. This is like a flapper dancer dress. It has this really nice bead detail just like the other fringy top. This would be a really nice cover up at the beach. I also can't tell if this should be a dress or a top. I guess it just depends on your height. I'm 5'2 once again, and this fit me like a really, really short dress. This could also be part of like a hot flapper dancer Halloween costume, or just for going out, honestly, in the summer. This will be going up for $20. Last but not least, if you want to join my life but you just don't feel like any of the clothes are speaking to you or you just want to add something to one of the items that you buy, I also got these really cute earrings. I will be selling these for $8. I think this could just be a really cute add-on. Uh -huh. Okay, those are all the thrift finds that I have for you today. Please make sure you join me in my live stream. The link is going to be below. It's September 11th at 6 p.m. EST. This is the first time that I'm going to try selling clothes or just talk to people on a live stream. I've never done that before and I'm hoping that I don't look like those super awkward people that are like, hello, can you hear me? This is working. Yeah, I, I hope that that's not me. That, that will definitely not be me. But I'm still feeling like pretty nervous, so I could use all of your support. Subscribe to my channel and let me know in the comments if you want to see more thrifting videos in the future. Okay, bye! <laughs> so casually keep diving into concrete So bittersweet